to do a tutorial. Um, Dougie actually has a, another vet appointment with his daggum bronchitis. He has that around 4.20 today. But we should be good on time. I think, I think we're gonna be okay on time. Before we get started, I actually found something kinda cool. I found these shade adjusters. I did not even know these exist. Actually, one of you sent them to me and said, try these. So I found them. Um, we're gonna be giving them a try. Not today, I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, once I take Dougie to the vet, I'm gonna film the Sephora faves because I know the sale starts, correct me if I'm wrong, but for Rouge, it starts November 5th. So we'll do some spice here and then I'll take Dougie to the vet and then I'll film that. And then tonight I'm posting the comparison between the Chanel powder foundation and the Beauty Creations. So this is gonna get posted tonight. IG seems to be working fantastic today. We're gonna use our Milk Makeup Primer today. This is the Hydro Grip Eye Primer. And I find that letting this dry down for a minute or two actually helps it perform better. So if you have this and your eyeshadow is sliding around a little bit, um, make sure, I forget I can use these now, um, make sure that you're giving it about a minute to two minutes to dry down. And yeah, let's just kind of press this all over, all the way up to the brow bone. No, I have to squawk about my little precious babies here. Um, these just launched. A lot of you didn't even know that they launched. So the prototypes have launched. You can shop them right here at this link. I want to do something colorful, but still spicy, but kind of toned down. Did that make sense? That didn't make no sense. So I bought this Pat McGrath palette not too long ago, and I want to keep using it because she was very spicy, very expensive. So let's go ahead and just grab that and Put that on our lid. Yes. Yes, that's, that's giving me that's giving me the spice that I need right now. That is gorgeous. Honestly, we could call that done. But no, we're going to add more. We're going to grab my little baby brush here. This is the Rosenbaum Beauty E27. And I'm going to grab this shade again. And just kind of finish up pulling it over this way. And over this way. Grab Sheila, wipe off our E27 here. I have a fan in my lap. <laughs> I get over here and I just get out of control. So wipe off your brush. There's nothing on here. I'm just, it's a dry towel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab this shade for a little bit of definition in our crease. I want you to notice that I'm going to press. It's going to give us more control and we'll be able to press it exactly where we want it. Not only does pressing blend nicely, but it also really helps you place. If I just come back in here like this and just start blending, um, I mean, you can see that that really kind of messed things up. We can fix that, but if we just come in and we take time and we just press it, it actually gives us more precision and we're able to press that shadow exactly where we want it. I don't want to do just classic liner today. I always try to switch it up. Um, to me, I love classic liner, but I always want to switch things up because not everybody likes the same thing as I do. But we do want to add a little bit of lift to the eye. And whenever we smudge our lash line, it just kind of just makes the eye look larger. So we're going to grab this dark, sh the darkest shade here in the palette with the same E27. It feels so wild to say the names of the brush. I'm going to pick up more and I'm kind of just going to pack that on the lash line. So just press that into the lash line. At that difference already it's like our eye just looks extra spicy and complete now now i'm going to take the same brush i didn't add any more product and remember everything's set so i can kind of drag my brush that doesn't mean i'm going back and forth but i'm able to just drag it a little bit and we need to drag it because we need to kind of pull it upwards but i am kind of pressing and dragging you can shut your eye I want to fill in this gap right here just to give it a little bit more shape. There we go. And then we'll take the side of the brush and just kind of smudge, tap it out. That way, if you're not that great at wing liner, but you still want a little lift, because that's what wing liner is really doing. It's just adding lift to the eye. 
but if your your hand just isn't that steady this is such a great way to do it and then actually from doing it this way you really learn your eye shape and it really helps you practice for later when you want to use gel or a liquid liner I'm gonna make this a little bit spicier so I'm gonna grab the purple shade here and I'm grabbing an E28 now pick that up I want a lot of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mostly tap it here but then I want it to come up this way, kind of like a spotlight. I don't know. I just felt like being extra spicy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we going to the vet office or are we going to the Met Gala? We don't know. I'm going to add some mascara. So the reason I never mentioned this part is because when I wear lashes, I just grab any mascara. Um, that's why I don't mention it. I have a bunch of different mascaras. And I usually use the ones that I don't really love for this because I'm about to put falsies on. All right, so we're gonna pop on our lashes. These are from House of Lashes. Style is, it's a look. I wear these all of the time. I'm not gonna wear any primer because I wanna see how this just goes on my skin. This is the Tower 28 Sunny Days um, Broad Spectrum SPF 30, 30, 30 <laughs> Tinted Sunscreen. So I'm going to be wearing the shade 15 Melrose. I've tried this before and I really, really like it, but I'm going to be wearing it a little bit longer today. So let's see. So I'm going to shake it really well. Anything with sunscreen, really any kind of foundation, make sure that you're shaking it very well before you apply it. I just went ahead and put some on the back of my hand. And now let's just work this in. I'm going to use my Nisa Beauty Pinnacle Foundation Brush. Even though it's a tinted sunscreen, I'm still going to use a brush to apply it. It's pretty though. Um, I it not too long ago and then um, I decided I would release a brand what the heck <laughs> and then I really haven't been over here playing in all of my makeup so I'm excited to get back it's beautiful okay but it actually has a really nice pigment it is covering up that redness so nice I'm impressed look at that I I I am in, even though it's a tinted serum, I'm going to take some here on the back of my hand with my C31. Kind of dab it over here. We don't want too much. And then I'm going to take it through here and finish up this area. Honestly, because I always do my brows first and because I like little detail brushes because I'm really into detail work. Um, I designed this brush and I had that in mind. So we're going to take it across here, underneath here. Kind of keep pressing that around. If you still want more coverage, um, grab your most full coverage concealer. Okay, this is the most full coverage I have. I tried this the other day and I really liked it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Don't ask why I haven't tried it sooner. Don't you ask? And we're gonna grab a Rosenbin C30. This little guy. Whew, spicy. And look how look how much we're gonna use. Okay, we might not even use all of that. And I'm just gonna apply it through here. Now, if you do have dark circles, feel free to do some color correcting. I have an entire IGTV on color correcting. Um, I know that this much concealer, you feel like it might not be enough for you, but applying more than this, if you feel you have to apply more, you might want to look into a color corrector because you want to make sure that you're applying the least amount of concealer. So go ahead and watch that. Now I'm going to grab my Anissa Beauty Angle Concealer Brush, and we're going to go ahead and start to work that in. Now, another tip with this concealer, um, a lot of you loved it, but a lot of you were intimidated by it, and you said that it creased terribly on you. So what I want you to do is actually switch to a brush. Now, it doesn't have to be this brush, even though this is my favorite brush in the entire world for concealer. Um, a lot of times, the damp blenders, they're actually going to separate your makeup, because even I can't quite find that right dampness for them um, all of the time, and I, I'm a professional. So when it's too damp, what happens is it actually separates it, and it never even works it in. So you are going to end up with a lot of creasing. But if you use a brush, and of course you're going to use the brush dry, and you take your time, and you'll notice through these slides how long it's taking me to work this in. And I know that it might seem very time consuming, but it's going to make a major difference. Also, for reference, with the Bye Bye Under Eye, this one, look how much is still left. There's still quite a bit left on the back of my hand, and you saw what a small amount that was. So a little goes a long way. 
go ahead and set the under eye, grabbing my puff. Just search puff on Amazon. That's all you do. They're all basically the same. And I'm going to grab my She Glam Powder because I don't want my under eye to be too bright. Um, this con this concealer is a nice shade, but it almost wants to pull a little too light. And that can cause more shadows. It kind of just defeats the purpose. If you scroll back a couple months ago, I have a video on that on my page. Now I'm going to grab an E29, my fluffier brush here. And I'm going to grab some of that same powder and I'm just going to press that through the center of my forehead. Look at that difference. So smooth. Ooh, that's satisfying. I want to pick up a little more. Just kind of keep pressing that in. So now I'm just going to finish some detail work here. Pressing the powder in with this one. So this one, again, all of these were designed to be very multi-purpose. And I use this one just to kind of do detail work to really press powder in. Since it's kind of larger, you'll notice that when you press it, all the fibers stay together and you can just really work powder in with it. And it's so fluffy here that you can even, you know, buff around here if you want to buff this out. Multi-purpose. I'm going to grab the E29 again and I'm going to grab the shade that's in our crease and just kind of press that underneath here. Let's go ahead and connect it over here as well. So now let's grab this shade, mm -hmm. extra spicy, and this is going to be our inner corner. Gosh, that's gorgeous. The Cover FX bronzer today, the matte side. I'm just going to do the matte side. This is in the shade Sun Kiss Bronze. So I picked it up here on my brush, and we're just going to press this in. I actually didn't set the outer perimeter. But, it be a little tricky, but that's what I'm here for. Let me explain. I want you to remember that this is not a full coverage foundation that I have on. It's actually going to be a little bit more forgiving, but I also want you to notice that I'm pressing. Also, this brush is pretty magical. I have to say that because the fibers are so soft and they're designed to just be able to press product in. I really can't do this with my other brushes. But notice that I'm pressing. The, press, the pressing motions truly make a major difference. I also want to show you how I go into the bronzer. So you'll notice that I go right in, right on the middle of the brush. Just go right in like this. Just a quick tap into the bronzer. Whenever I started makeup, I always wanted people to explain, how are you even putting the brush into the makeup? No one ever did. So I did. I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush and I just bronze the side of my nose. I don't really contour my nose, but I do want it to have a nice bronzed effect. So I could just go down the sides and right underneath here. Again, I'm not trying to get in here and make perfect lines. Uh, I can do that on others, but for my nose shape and, and the way I like things to look, I just feel like it looks too done up on me. Okay, I just love these. I love them. The She Glam liquid blushes. I love these. I'm checking time. We're good on time. I'm almost done. Um, I love these so much. I'm using the shade Love Cake, and a little bit goes a long way. These are so pretty. I love the applicator. I love everything about them. Somewhere is my brush. Hang on. Grabbing my C41. We're going to work this in. This blush with this brush is magical. So I'm going to take some of the blush and put it here kind of in between the bronzer so not here really kind of here but not too far down because then you just look like you've got a pink forehead but if you do it right there then it actually looks like you're sun kissed because the sun you know it adds a little bit of pinky red so i'm not going to go too fancy with my lips i am going to grab this lip liner from melt cosmetics i love these lip liners this is the shade bare yes double check that okay don't get upset with me talking about the brushes too much because before they, I could talk about them, I was constantly asked about them. Um, now that they're not prototypes anymore, I love the C30. And I want to tell you why. Because it's so sharp and really fast. I do my lip liner. I don't have anything on here. Um, I'll just kind of do it. And then I keep taking the brush and I sharpen it. And this brush was designed to fit perfectly around here. I wanted something very sharp. So this is great for cleaning up and great for cut crease. Then I'm going to do this Melt Cosmetics lipstick. 
put aside Jean Hairfly. I think I saw several Jean Hairflies, but he's so cute. All right, we're spiced. All right, I love y'all so much. Um, thank y'all for supporting Rosenbund Beauty. It's blowing my mind, it truly is. I'm so excited. I love these brushes. I've been using them for almost two years. You guys have seen them. If it feels like shocking, remember, go back and watch all my saved highlights and you'll see these brushes, but you'll see them with black handles. Ah! Y'all get ready for tonight's post. It's gonna be spicy. It's a comparison. It's gonna blow your mind. It kind of blew my mind. Um, I love you all so much and I'll see you in the comments tonight.